This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Toyota. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2014, and I have in my hands probably the smallest computer I've ever seen, and this is so far the coolest thing I have seen at the show. We'll see if it can live up the test of the rest of the week, but I must say, this is really fantastic. What I'm holding in my hand right now is called the Warp. It is a wearable reference platform. So I'm not actually holding a product, much like I'm you know, wearing a product on my head, which I guess is or is not a product. I think it, it's kind of more like a, I don't know, Google Glass is like a beta, right? But in order to develop things like that, developers need cool hardware to work on top of. And if you guys are familiar with the Raspberry Pi or the Arduino or the Beagle board, this should be very familiar to you, a reference platform. On this tiny little chip, not only do we have a Freescale 1 gigahertz CPU capable of running the latest version of Android, we also have the RAM, we've got Bluetooth 4.0, we've got Wi-Fi, and we've got our micro USB for charging. So this right here is the brains of your dreams to come true if you are that hardware hacker tinkerer that wants to start and begin you know, building on top of the shoulders of giants because what's awesome here about a reference design or a reference platform, if you've never done any kind of hardware dev before, is that these guys have done all the heavy lifting. They've already figured out how to miniaturize all of this and how to put it into a package where you can start making a watch or a wristband or a whatever have you with this as the guts. And then you don't need to worry about the hardware. You can just start coding. It's open hardware, it's open source, and it's modular. So this right here is the brains of the unit, but there's also a daughter board here that adds IMUs, uh, you know, instruments that allow you to detect motion, gyroscopes, accelerometers, magnetometers, things like that. On the back here, we actually have induction charging. So maybe you want to build a wristwatch where you can lay it down on your nightstand at night and have it charge. This is already done for you. We even have e-ink displays all ready to go. So really, I'm not actually showing you a product, I'm showing you the potential for our product. And that is probably one of the most exciting things that I've seen come about in my years of covering CES, is the idea that the democratization of hardware and the fact that anyone can now fabricate these things, and Freescale's gone a long way to get this really accessible, to put it into your hands. Um, I mean, they, they have you know a version here with a battery, they've got versions here with LCD screens, and I'm just really excited because it means that if you're a tinkerer and you liked the Arduino, you liked the, um, the, the Raspberry Pi or the BeagleBone, well, the same folks that actually did the BeagleBone are bringing this reference design to market at warpboard, W-A-R-P, like engage, right? Warpboard.org, where you can download the open source stack to start building on top of, to start getting the open hardware, to start making all of your accessories for, and you can just start 3D printing a case around it and be on Kickstarter tomorrow a millionaire. Because these guys, this is just fantastic. I love the world we're living in today. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of the show, but I'm, I'm putting that in my top three already. Anyway, uh, warpboard.org for continued coverage of all things CES 2014, revision3.com slash CES. Thanks once again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.